I'm Ron, I'm Ron Feynman. I love physics. Um, two, two, quick, two questions, if I may. Uh, at Liberty University, they have uh, on display some fossils that they say are, I might be off by a factor or by a thousand years or so, but they say these fossils of dinosaurs are 3,000 years old, maybe 4,000, maybe 5,000. My, my question, the first question to you is, what, what could they do to, to really prove to a scientist that those fossils are indeed um, that old only? Um, that's number one. And then number two, uh, would you be willing to elucidate a little bit further your um, arguments against creation by design and maybe give us some better sense of cosmological time, just how long it really is. Right. Um, the, the belief that dinosaurs are only 3,000 years old and uh, that the, the universe is only 6,000 years old, how to give an idea of the real time span um, of the world when what, one way to put it, which I've recently been think, thinking about, is that if somebody believes that the world is only 6,000 years old, or of the order of a few thousand years old, when the true age of the Earth is um, of the order of a few billion years old, that means they're out by a factor of a million, um, which is not a trivial error. Uh, <laughs> It's, I mean, I, I am not very good at, at, uh, at arithmetic, and I calculated that it's equivalent to believing that the distance from New York to San Francisco is 700 yards. <laughs> uh, but I received a letter from um, a, a mathematician who'd done, his, done the sum again, and he said I got it wrong. It's actually equivalent to believing that the distance from New York to San Francisco is 28 feet. Um, Either way, it gives you an idea of the scale of the error. Uh, the questioner asked what would uh, the um, people of Liberty University have to do in order to demonstrate that these d dinosaur fossils really were 3,000 years old. Well, what they would have to do is to find igneous rocks which uh, were found in proximity to or sandwiching the, the fossils and date these by radioactive dating several different, half a dozen at least, different forms of radioactive dating, all of which give independent estimates of the date of these fossils. And all those different methods of doing it should point to an age of 3,000 years. In fact, of course, what they, those methods of dating all show is that dinosaur fossils are hundreds of millions. Well, no less than 65 million years old. Not just one method of radioactive dating, lots and lots of different methods of radioactive dating, different clocks, clocks working on completely different principles that, that all point to the same order of magnitude of age of these dinosaur fossils. If it's really true that the museum at Liberty University has uh, dinosaur fossils which are labelled as being 3,000 years old, then that is an educational disgrace. <laughs> it is debauching the whole idea of a university. And I would strongly encourage any members of Liberty University who may be here to leave and go to a proper university. <laughs> <laughs>